Hey guys, welcome back to the 2019 ATA show, and I'm in the Nikon booth with Colin. He's going to show us some of the new stuff from Nikon. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. This is an archery community, and it wouldn't be the same without you. Now let's get into the video. All right, appreciate it, Dustin. Yeah, nice to be here. So, all right, well, so for 2019 ATA show, what we've got releasing is a little bit for everybody. So coming into, into the market to kind of fill in some of the gaps and then improve on some stuff that we've already got. Great. Um, starting out, rangefinder is kind of the name of the game for the show for us this year. We're coming out with two new in the Pro Staff line. Okay. We got the Pro Staff 1000 and the Pro Staff 1000i. Okay, what's the difference? What you have out of here, you've got a 1000 yard rangefinder. Sure. You've got the 1000 without the eye is 169.99. You're getting 600 yards on a tree and 500 yards on a deer, size target, reflective. Okay. You've got a four second delay. You push that button. If it doesn't immediately catch a good reflection, it'll stay active for another four seconds until you get a good reflective target back before reading it out. Primarily, you hit a good target, you're gonna get it right back to you within half a second. Yeah but if you're not getting that good reading, it'll stay actively reading on its own. Okay. It also has an eight second continuous read. So does it kind of stay in scan mode till it locks onto something Correct. or? Okay. Yep, until it gets a good target getting that, that back to you, to the rangefinder, yep. it'll stay scanning for four seconds. If you press and hold it, you can do a continual scan for up to eight seconds. Oh, okay. So great, I can, I can pick a target and and move the rangefinder back and forth to make sure that it's actually picking up where I think it is and yep. not a tree beside it or something Correct. like that. Yep, exactly. That's a great feature. Exactly. So, and then again, same optical system here in the eye. It has a little bit different processor in here to give you the incline technology in sure. here. So you can get that, that, that angle. So you have your true target priority on that. Okay. Or true, uh, sorry, your, your angle um, compensation. Sure. So what's, so, what's the minimum? Is it like, 10, 11 yards, what's uh, the? Eight. Eight yards eight now. Yards. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So yards. for all you guys that are, you know, tree stand hunting and, and you're looking for a, a good incline decline range finder, that uh, 1000i is definitely gonna be the ticket. What was the MSRP yeah. on that? This one, so the 1000 comes in at 169.95. Yeah. The 1000i is 199.95. Man, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a great price point. I still, I'm still rocking the old Nikon with a green-sided, oh, yeah. you know, the panels yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's still running. There's not a whole lot of need to replace it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Put new batteries in it every year, and uh, had uh, had Nikon in my pack for awesome. years to come. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. This is this is awesome because it kind of the the cost of entry. Yeah. Is so low now. Yeah. Whereas before, you know, with other manufacturers specifically, you're spending a lot more money to get into a rangefinder. Right yeah. here, you have a thousand yard rangefinder for less than 200 bucks. You have two options. Yeah. That's pretty unheard of. So, yep. The next one that's new that we're releasing here today is the Monarch 2000. So, this right here, let me pull out the. So, last year we came out with the Monarch 3000 stabilized, and this has blown the market up with the stabilization technology that it has yeah. that we took from our cameras. Great. So you can lock in on this, it stabilizes the shot, you get your reading, and then you have it without even having to worry about you get the jitters when you get a big buck coming in or something, <laughs> this is gonna seal that deal. Yeah. But what we decided to do is we came in the middle here because we had a hole now. So we came in with yeah. the Monarch 2000. So you've got the same body pretty much, 2000 yard, uh, range on this. Yeah. So you're gonna be 1,200 yards on a tree target and 1,100 yards on a on a deer size target. Um, reflective, obviously. Yeah. But for this, you're at 299.99. Okay. So with the stabilizer, you're at 419. That's a lot more features for another another yeah, hundred dollars. <laughs> so we got a little bit for everybody out of all yeah. these. Yeah. Obviously, these are waterproof, so you're gonna be good, whatever, regardless what season that you're out there that are hunting in, but. The range finders is where we are really starting to break break some ground in the market. Here. Yep. I love how small they've gotten. I mean, it weighs absolutely nothing. Yeah. I remember when they first came out, it was like putting a small brick in your pocket. And the first one I ever had was, uh, it was a binocular in the front and a monocular in the back. Oh yeah, yeah, Huge. flat ones. Yeah. yeah. 
it wasn't yeah. from Nikon, sorry, but um, <laughs> yeah. that, that was uh, about 25 years ago. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. no worries. So yeah. that's that's our our rangefinder lineup that we brought out this year, minus okay. the stabilizer. That was last year, but this is still a good feature for your hunters. Yeah, or the people that are watching your stuff. If they want a stable image on there, that is absolutely mind yep. blowing. Now, does it this still go down, uh, down to close distance? Correct. Yep. All okay. these have the same. As far as getting down up super close, you're not going to have a problem there. All of these, with the exception of the thousand, is going to have the ID technology, which is your your angle okay. compensation piece. So all those are included there. The other thing that we changed as of last year, all the the range finders now it's a five year warranty. It awesome. Used, previously it was two. So awesome. kind of leading into the industry, getting a better warranty on the electronic stuff, which a lot yep. of folks kind of stay away from getting a good warranty on it. But oh yeah, back sure. It up. Just to cover these real quick is this is a special project that we did with True Timber. This is their Kanadi pattern. So you have our Nikon Pro Staff 7S and a 10 by 42. It's got the rubberized grip. This has got completely sealed optics in here, multi multi coated. Nice, smooth center focus ring. Yep. This is one of our best selling binoculars, and we just got it in camo now. That's awesome. Through that partnership there. So and that's a 10 by 42? 10 by 42. These things go go like mad. So oh, yeah. Took one that was real popular already, partnered with True Timber, and got those coated. That's a great looking set of glass right there. It is. And it a is. 10 by 42, honestly, is probably one of my favorite sizes. It doesn't matter if I'm 3D. Uh, it's in my turkey pack. It's you know with me in the tree stand. Uh, a 10 by 42, I mean, it's just kind of a go-to for me. I if you can't see it, you can't hit it. So yeah. I, I yeah. like to have a lot of glass. Yep. And uh, a 1042 is just small enough where I can pack it anywhere. So absolutely. it's one of my favorite choices. Everybody needs a set of binos. Now I'll get back to these guys here. One of the other ones that we have that we're technically releasing today is we have two new lines or, or two more family members into the monarch hg bino family nice these are 30 millimeter options we have an 8 by 30 and a 10 by 30. okay so 2017 best of the best and best of the test from field of stream yeah those were for our 42 millimeter binos we brought them back out in a 30 now so if you're a tree nice. stand hunter and you want the best glass ed glass right here and you want a small compact package, I mean, that, that'll fit in your chest pocket. Definitely. Easily. Yep. So fully multi-coated lenses, nice, smooth, center focus ring, rubberized outer body, made in Japan. Got rubberized covers on the end of them mm -hmm. as part of the body too, that's that's nice. Yep, and these can, if you if you don't like these, these pop off and in the box you have just a, a rubberized oh, really? ring that'll slide on there. Yeah. I actually like that because the covers that I've got with some binoculars, that's usually the first thing that I lose, drop, or break. Yeah. So yeah. having it integrated into the glass, I, I actually like that. Yeah, absolutely. What else you got over so here? To get back over here, so this is going to be kind of general purpose, maybe birding, hunting in a tree stand, just need something small. Yep. The Aculon A30 10 by 25, we also partnered with True Timber on these. Again, nice and smooth for a small uh, small binocular, nice and smooth center focus, adjustable eyepiece, very, very compact, and at a very, very reasonable price. So same optical system on here, just a new, a new jacket for it. So, awesome. And then this one here, so Pro Staff P3 muzzle loader. Okay. Did some upgrades to it and then topped it off by coating it again with True Timber. Yeah. So new changes this year, kind of a whole new new optical system. New cur uh, cap turrets, they're all metal now. Okay. They're no longer plastic. Oh, wow. Quarter MOA clicks, nice and easy clicks. Very, very, very easy to feel and yeah. hear. I can, I can even hear it, hear you clicking it from here. Yeah, very, very clean. Um, so metal cap turrets. Power ring, all metal now. Displays the power facing the shooter. So no more looking up and over the top to see yeah. what power you're on. <laughs> yeah. Again, nice and smooth, not real hard to do. And then you've got your quick focus eyepiece back here is the only piece of rubber on the outside of this. Sure. And plastic is right there, so you're not getting that, that scope bite. But this one here also comes with our BDC 300 reticle. That was gonna be my first question. Yep. So this right here is perfect for muzzleloader hunters. You can use the, the Nikon Spot On app. Yeah. 
load in what your load data is, what your powder charge, what, what projectile you're using. Load it up on your app and it'll tell you where your holds are on that BDC reticle. Yep. So very, yep. very cool feature. These muzzle loader specific scopes have been a hot seller. Um, but to have them in camo now. Oh yeah. And then with all the extra new features with the new P3 line, very, very cool product. And that true timber looks absolutely awesome. What he's talking about with the uh, the BDC reticle and, and making it fit your application, you really got to go to the Nikon website, and that's Nikon... NikonSportOptics.com. SportOptics.com, yeah. there you go. Um, and that site's got a lot of information for all sportsmen, whether you're looking for binoculars, range finders, or rifle glass, Nikon's got you covered. Hey, Colin, I thanks a Justin. lot. I yeah. appreciate the visit. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to using some of this stuff coming up this season. Um, on the Outdoor Mentor.